Welcome <clears throat> this morning to Bethel Baptist 9 a.m. daily devotions. If you'd like to take your Bibles and turn over to 2 Chronicles chapter 19, verses 7 to 9. <clears throat> Wherefore now let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it. For there is no iniquity with the Lord our God, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. Moreover, in Jerusalem did Jehoshaphat said of the Levites and of the priests and of the chief of the fathers of Israel for the judgment of the Lord and for the controversies when they returned to Jerusalem. And he charged them, saying, Thus shall ye do in the fear of the Lord faithfully and with a perfect heart. <clears throat> We're going to be looking at the subject this morning of take heed be reverential and be fearful of God. The judges that were set in place were representative, representatives of God. Theirs was the awesome task of deciding between the guilty and the innocent. It was important for the judge not to take bribes and align himself with the wicked. His area of responsibility was to carry out his work in the fear of the Lord, that is, in the obedience uh, to the will of God alone. <clears throat> Jehoshaphat's judges were a cross between a modern judge and an old-fashioned school teacher. Their task was not only to decide cases, but also to teach justice and oversee its application. Jehoshaphat's administrative system was modeled after that of Moses. Now listen to what it says in Exodus chapter 18, verses 17 uh, to 26. And Moses' father-in-law said unto him, The thing that thou doest is not good. Thou wilt surely wear away both thou and this people that is with thee, for this thing is too heavy for thee. Thou art not able to perform it thyself alone. Hearken now unto my voice. I will give thee counsel, and God shall be with thee. Be thou for the people to Godward, that thou mayest bring the causes unto God. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws, and shalt show them the way wherein they must walk and the work they must do. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness, and place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, rulers of tens, and let them judge the people at all seasons. And it shall be that in every great matter they shall bring unto thee but every small matter they shall judge, so it be easier for thyself, and they shall bear the burden with thee. If thou shalt do this thing and command thee so, then, shall, then thou shalt be able to endure, and this people shall also go to their place in peace. So Moses hearkened to the voice of his father-in-law and did all that he had said. And Moses chose able men, out of all Israel, and made them heads over the people, rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. <clears throat> and they judged the people at all seasons. The hard causes they brought unto Moses, but every small matter they judged themselves. It's interesting to note that heeding God and having reverential fear of God require, requires those of whom must submit to be faithful and to be perfectly mature in their heart towards being obe obedient to the will of God according to the word of God. He also set up an appeal system which was headed up by the high priest in Jerusalem. 
In 2 Chronicles 19, 5, 8, and 11, and he set judges in the land throughout all the fenced cities of Judah, city by city. Moreover, in Jerusalem did Jehoshaphat set the Levites and all the priests and the chief of the fathers of Israel for the judgment of the Lord and for controversies when they refused, what, pardon me, when they returned to Jerusalem. And behold, <coughs> Amariah, the chief priest, is over you in all matters of the Lord, and Zebdiah, the son of Ishmael, the ruler of the house of Judah, for all the king's matters, also the Levites shall be officers before you. Deal courageously, and the Lord shall be with the good. <clears throat> Je Jehoshaphat himself realized the importance of being actively involved in the system of justice and saw his task, the teaching and the preaching of the word of the Lord in 2 Chronicles 19.4, and Jehoshaphat dwelt at Jerusalem and he went out again through the people from Beersheba to Mount Ephraim and brought them back unto the Lord God of their fathers. Note these things. Jehoshaphat was not perfect. You and I that are saved are not perfect. He realized that he had a responsibility, as you and I do, uh, for, towards the Lord. He lived in the world, but he was not of the world, as we are not to be of the world, as the scriptures teach. Be holy as I am holy, be in the world, but not of the world. We can use the world system and still be blessed by God. However, we are not to be controlled by the world <coughs> system. Jesus Christ is to be the preeminent one and ruler within our lives, within our families, and with our local assemblies, our local churches. <clears throat> God's will is of the utmost importance. It needs to be the main focus within our lives, and we need to strive to live for him and to do his bidding for him as he leads and guides and directs through the Holy Spirit. We are to take heed to the word of God and not only read it, and listen to it, but most importantly, apply it to our lives and walk in the truths of the Word of God that God has left for us. In 2 Chronicles <clears throat> chapter 19, verse 7 and 9, now as I close out this devotion, Wherefore now, let, there, let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it, for there is no iniquity with the Lord our God, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. Moreover, in Jerusalem did Jehoshaphat set the Levites and the priests and of the chief of the fathers of Israel for the judgment of the Lord and the controversies when they returned to Jerusalem. And they charged them, saying, they shall, Thus shall ye do in the fear of the Lord, faithfully and with a perfect heart, and so how about your walk this morning? Are you serving to the best of your ability? Trying to reach others for the cause of Christ, trying to be a blessing, allowing your gift that God has given to you at salvation to be used in the local assembly or church that you attend, that God has led you to, to be a part of. And so we need to Learn from this devotion that God desires us to take heed and to take reverential fear of God. Let's close in prayer. Lord, we give you thanks and praise that you are God. There is none like you, none before you, and none will ever come after like you. You are you always were, and you always will be. You're unchangeable. You are holy, you are just, you are grace, you are spirit and truth, you are light, you are mercy. 
you are worthy to be praised, but may we remember, Lord, in your holiness, we need to be reverentially fearful and give you your proper place in our lives. You are creator, you are redeemer, you are savior, you are Lord, you are king of kings and Lord of lords. I love you, Lord. I thank you for loving me. I thank you, Lord, for going to Calvary for me and for whosoever will, taking my sin, past, present, and future upon yourself, dying a tremendous, horrendous death, being buried, but hallelujah, because you are the resurrection and the life, being raised on the third day that mankind may have opportunity once again to acknowledge you, confess their sin, repent of their sin, and accept Christ as their personal Lord and Savior that they might gain heaven through Jesus Christ's sacrifice for each one of us. Separate us with your blessing now. Bless this day. We ask these things in Christ's name.